I didn't even know it was here filming. So this is my uh, three body problem simulation. That's not working. <laughs> so um, um, you just said it was working. I ran into a a, a bug and this is I I went back to the non fixed version. But just like two minutes ago, before I grabbed the camera, you said it's working and you were. Really I said happy. it's working. I can I, you go I, back to that version? So I could just at that deck and I could do that and you can see now they're working. I'm not totally happy with this because they're, they're, I don't I didn't actually get that orbiting effect. No. Of like a three like a sun, a planet a sun. and something else. A star, in this case it's two stars and yeah. a particle that of insignificant you, mass. Like a dust particle. <laughs> can you a little bit <laughs> sketch what for those people who don't know what a three-body problem is, what is that? So, um, in this case, I have the restricted version of a three of the three-body problem. So I have two stars. We're talking about the Newtonian problem, right? In this case, they have the same mass, but they could have different masses. In this case, I have uh, the same mass, two, two stars, and then um, they're, and, you know, they're subject to gravitational attraction. They orbit each other, and then a particle with insignificant mass, so it doesn't, so it doesn't, uh, so basically doesn't have any mass at all. So basically, just it you know, basically doesn't have impact on the uh, uh, on the stars, but it just, you know, put. It just, you know, it's only subject to gravitational attraction from the stars. Gravitational attraction from and the then, stars? You, you know, I should, um, so in this case I have a one-dimensional simulation of it. So. And what is the problem? Uh, what, what problem did well, Newton have with this? Well, I don't know. It's it's quite difficult to analyze. It's a chaotic system. So, it's a chaotic system, so you can't so, predict. So, so not the stars' motion, of course, because they just orbit around each other. But the particles' motion, you can see over here in the simulation. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's uh, so <laughs> as you can see uh, right now, the simulation is not uh, working very well. They don't really orbit around each other. But the, but you can see the stars are producing this regular orbit. And the particle over here, which is this black line, is producing this chaotic path. Let me just run that again. And you would like to visualize like a prediction of how all the three bodies would actually act. Um, so I visualize it <laughs> right there. Um, I did have to actually cheat a little bit with the gravitational attraction formula, <laughs> uh, because um, because when they cro the the cro they cross the gravitational attraction uh, is infinite and uh, <laughs> theoretically, um, so I did have to sort of fix that, <laughs> you know, fix um, that issue. But apart from that, now it's working. But but you said they're not orbiting each other. How would orbiting then look like? What would orbiting? Well, I would just say going back and forth like this, which they do ah, for, okay. for like a few cycles over ah. here. So, all right, I'm sorry. Which they do for like a few cycles over here, and I think you'd see this better if I run the simulation again. You can see over so there. So this is here, orbiting. They orbit a, a little bit over here. But you'd expect it orbiting like a sine wave, sort of like. I would. Maybe I should increase this little sort of like cheat thing <laughs> that I put in there. Um, About the infinite, but how can you increase infinite gravity? I don't increase it, I decrease it. <laughs> <laughs> now they're going two different ways. Which opposite is... Opposite direction. Because if I remove the constant at all, so it doesn't... Now it's gone. It also behaves like that, look. Huh? <laughs> it fell. <laughs> wow, the second one fell. <laughs> this is so funny. The actual problem was that there wasn't a way 
to calculate the orbits of three bodies. Like for two bodies is fairly easy, right? And yeah, yeah. But yeah. hasn't been has it, it has been solved, right? It has been solved uh, recently. So, and by recently, I mean, you know, um, how was it solved? You know, I think just with a computer simulation, like <laughs> like yours. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think in three, it, well, well, in three dimensions, of course, mine isn't just in one dimension. <laughs> uh, I, I should try making a two-dimensional version of this, because then I wouldn't have this problem with them, like, <laughs> crossing. And yeah, maybe you should try that. No, it's... but yours, for example. You're saying it's a chaotic system. What I kind of this... initial conditions have you got? I have uh, just two stars, like, like this, and then the particle just above them, like this. But every time that your initial conditions are the same, they display the same behavior, or they display different behavior independently from your initial conditions. Now this is the same, right? That we just saw. No. Well, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's uh, put the const put the little cheat back in that I had earlier. Clever workaround. Uh. I should experiment with this a bit more. Straight five. What did you change now? I changed this. Uh, this, what? this, this thing that allowed me to cheat. Which and, thing? Uh, this, this, this uh, constant here that I'm adding Can on. Can you show in the code? You see, the regular formula is the gravitational constant, which I'm assuming is one, times the mass of one body times the mass of the other body, which actually, no, that's independent because, you know, that it's independent because it cancels out. Anyway, so, um, so I didn't actually include that. So I just have one divided by, and then the distance uh, between the bodies squared. But then, I, I, but then in that denominator, I add on an extra constant so that I don't actually divide by zero. Oh. So. Okay, well, see if you maybe can build a two-dimensional one. So that I won't have this bug. <laughs> they aren't tracing their history, which I'm gonna fix, but you can see over here it's doing something. The only problem is they're still not orbiting. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because I didn't actually give them an initial velocity. So I think I don't want to initialize the particle with an initial velocity, but I do want to initialize a star is it? moving slightly to the right and the other star I want to initialize moving slightly to the left. This way they'll orbit, right? Ooh, but they're very quickly going so far away that they don't even get attracted. They don't even see each other anymore. <laughs> so, like, goodbye, star! <laughs> uh, one way I could fix this is just uh, lower this a bit, but... But they're very... But my gravitational constant, I think, is very, very low. So, over here, my gravitational constant, look, is one. So, I want my gravitational constant to be what somewhat bigger. Let's make it 20. Ooh, they had a very wide orbit just there. Let's make it 40. Also quite a wide orbit. 60. There I saw an orbit. A single orbit. Let's make um, the canvas a bit wider. Like 600. And initialize them a bit more to the right at 300. Let's lower the gravitational constant back to 40. Whoop, goodbye. <laughs> so uh, I think I could up the gravitational constant just a bit. 
Oh, my particles still initialize at that spot, so I want my particle to also move over slightly. Why is it always attracted to the right one? Oh yeah, because the right one is at the top, of course, of course. Let's make it 120. What? The gravitational constant. The constant. The gravitational constant. You know, no Newtonian gravitation. Let's put one at like 210, and the other at like 270. Do you see that? It's just like, just like, boom, explosion. <laughs> Do you see that? It's bouncing off. The, the, do you know why? It's the same as the, what happened back here. It's the same as what happened back here. I remember when it just like exploded. So, um, so it just went too close to it and it slingshotted it. So that's not what I want to do. Uh, but you see the two stars orbiting each other quite stably now, and you can see we, we're actually in a working scenario. Let's move the particle to the left in the initial condition, like 280. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> now it's got shot off in a different direction. 250? Well, okay. And now you can... Oh, look at that! That's actually quite what that's I was expect. The, that's what I was expecting. Oh, look at that, and it's not gone. It's still around. This is what I was expecting. It just shouldn't, like, shouldn't oh, you give gone, so. <laughs> shouldn't you give shouldn't you give the massless particle like a different color? Because they're difficult to distinguish when they're well, moving actually, quickly. Well, the you can see the black. I think it's clear. The black one is not when I'm looking through the camera. But you can see now it's it's in it's in there, and now it's slingshotted. Oh, it was a comet! I know what it was. <laughs> it was a comet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's up the gravitational constant slightly. Mm, uh, 120. I don't know. Let's. Uh, I, I, now we're back to where what what. <laughs> Almost. You can clearly see it's a chaotic system, though, in this visualiza visualization. You can, yeah. It's just... <laughs> you see, the stars are diverting the particle around. You see, now it's slingshot. And now it should come back. I think it's too far for it to see the stars again. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe in a couple of centuries it will be slung back by Jupiter. <laughs> okay, I found a weird initial condition. But the yeah. only thing, but the only thing I do now, I'm going to change the x location of the particle to the left by one pixel. So very slightly, just change the initial condition very slightly. And now, now it doesn't happen anymore. And it also sticks around for quite a while. It just, yeah, <laughs> it, it's a chaotic system, right? <laughs> it's a chaotic system. It's just, uh, I just moved it over to the left. I just moved the particle over to the left by one pixel. 
And that was already enough to change it. <laughs> as dramatically as that. I should really make one of these, but with uh, two of them. Where you sort of, which sort of start right next to each other and then you compare them. Yeah.